Hey guys, what's up? So I want to give Vice Project Doom another go. I don't think it has passwords, which is a little bit annoying. But you know what? Maybe we can do it. I don't think we're going to beat it, but maybe I can at least get pretty far tonight. We'll see. Um, I think I got to level 5-3 last night, and that was the jungle level that got really hard. But I kind of want to give it another go and see... If I'll be any better at it tonight, who knows? Or maybe I'll just be just as bad. But I want to try it again because it is a cool game. So let's try it out. Okay, I think everything is going. All right, Sammy. <sighs> Push start button. I think it's interesting that the first level is nothing like um, most of the game. Yeah. Oh no! Is that oil? Ah. How scary would it be to have spaceships on the freeway? Boss, there you are. Mr. Boss. Ah! I'm not gonna dab, Shishi. Hey, you myth and new wave junkie. Space Viking Papaya Boat, Frasier, Yeti Force, it's Jason. What's up, guys? And that gun he carried. Talk about the creeps. Ooh. Sup, Christy. Alright, so... This part isn't too bad. Those guys creep me out, and so do they. I'm not a fan. Very unsettling. So I showed Mike this game last night on his stream. He was able to get past the jungle level. And I was really, I was, I was a little bit jealous, because I'm like, how come, how come you didn't have a hard time with it? I mean, he kind of did, but it just, it wasn't fair. So I need to get through it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Moblin Slayer, for subscribing for eight months. Oh, and happy birthday, Moblin Slayer. I hope you're having a very good day. Hey, Hexagrex. Hey, Nintendo fan. So, Stackfall says, so I just got up to stage 9-1. I figured out some things that might help you on the bosses, and by the way, you can duck under the cannon on the 5-2 boss. Yeah, so I don't know what the hell I was thinking last night. I could have sworn I ducked, and I still got hit. But then, when Mike was doing that boss, he was able to duck. So I was like, well, I'm an idiot. So, I'm gonna try it again. Ooh, you beat him taking one hit? Good job. Hey, D-Man, isn't that box art funny? It's like, if you look at her face, her eyes look like really weird. Like she's not there. She might be a cyborg. Oh my goodness. Someone's named Isle of Aaron. Oh no. <laughs> Happy Saturday to you too, person. <laughs> Thanks, New Wave. He's like, you can do better than Mike. Yeah. Hey, Brim Hatter. Hey, Counted Arrow. You think it's hard? You started it last night? Yeah, KJ, it's, it's like this, see, at first I felt like, oh, it's not too bad. But it does ramp up in difficulty quite out of nowhere. It makes me want to try Spy Hunter, because I think 
I think I've only played it the arcade game. Very long time ago. Oh, shit! Oh my goodness, Watson Punk, haven't seen you in a while. What's up? I just, you don't have to kill this guy, but I like killing him because it's like, who knows, maybe one day he'll hop across, you know? So Mike told me those are supposed to be vampires. I guess in Japan, vampires are like that. It's like a totally different thing. Ah! Yeah, that's right. Okay, um, I'm gonna switch to the bomb. Yeah. Damn, that's satisfying. switch back to that. The tuning fork, as I call it. What if it is? What if it's a giant tuning fork and even though it looks like a sword when you use it, it's actually more like the icon where you just smack people in the face. Thank you, Dig for Needs. Thank you, you ULs. You are getting NES slowdown playing this on the Switch? That's not good. I haven't played any of the NES games on the Switch. Like, I did sign up for that um, online service so I could play Mario Maker, but I haven't played any of the NES games. How do I feel about Mike's new store? Thank you for the bits, Jason. Um, I think it's really cool. I think it's a cool idea. I'm really excited to see what other things they talk about and who else they have on. Um, I think it'll be good. I think they're gonna have some good conversations, because I'm always down for more gaming content on the show, I mean on the channel, so of course I'm happy. Like, as a fan, I was like, yes, when I heard they were gonna do that, I was very happy. You're playing it on your NES Classic? This is on the NES Classic, or did you hack it? Maybe at some point, Hexagrex, but probably not anytime soon. Porcupine Man, the rejected Spider-Man villain. Alright. I'm gonna switch to... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna stay with Mr. Tuning Fork. And then bombs away for this guy. Yeah. Oh god, I forgot what I used here. Oh, I used the gun. Fuck. I'm so bad at getting away from this guy. Ah! See, like, I jumped into it like an idiot. Oh, well, you know what? Actually, it wasn't too bad. I did get hit, but at least we beat him pretty fast. Pumpkin villain! Yeah, this game is on the Switch, but I'm playing the actual NES card. I didn't know it was on the Switch till um, somebody told me when I streamed it last night. I was like, oh, okay. I just found out about this game because um, I was looking through Mike's Nintendo powers and I saw this and I was like, this looks like a good game, but... Like, I never saw any gameplay of it or anything, then I looked it up and I'm like, oh shit, this is like right up my alley, so. It's funny that I just found out about it right when it was on the Switch. Hey games and movies, what's up? Ah! See, I'm really sloppy. Ah! Okay, just fuck it. Damn it! Okay, maybe I shouldn't use... 
Oh god, I'm an idiot. Fuck! Shit, hold on. Oh god, I'm using the wrong thing. See, I, I get flustered when I have to... Mm, when I have to switch weapons sometimes. I'm like, there's too many things. There's cats or dogs, I don't know. Panthers. This is too much. And then they want me to switch? The hell? I am getting attacked by stray cats. It's quite annoying. I don't know why. I'm not doing anything. Maybe they're under the control of the enemy. Because if they actually knew me, they'd be like, wow, this guy's pretty cool. He's so nice. Shit. But because they're under the control of the enemy, they want me dead. Just like these sparks of electricity. Ah, shit! I knew that was gonna happen! Hey, Levate. Your first system was in television? That's cool. It reminds you of Big Trouble in Little China. I think I saw parts of that, like, a long time ago, but I don't remember any of it. There's a guy throwing a boomerang with a pumpkin on his head. Wizards and cats. Yes, Ryan Silver. Pretty much sums up this game. It's like you see the wizard and the guy with the pumpkin on his head quite often, actually. I don't know. This game has it all. Yikes, yikes. Ah! Yes, thank you. Okay. So now we're doing a little better. Ah, I didn't mean to use that. See, that's the thing. I suck at remembering. Fucking hell. Ah! Okay, you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm just gonna do this. Good old dependable tuning fork. And we're just gonna... Okay. We're just gonna dodge this guy. We're just gonna run past him. Whatever. Whatever. Gun. Ah. Brap, 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 brap. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker in his purple boots. Who does he think he is? Ah. No, that was embarrassing. <laughs> hey, Jingle Bell. Hey, Search Man. Thank you for the raid. What are you guys talking about? Hey, Tompkins. Hey, Emerald. Yep, I'm back on it. I want to give it one more chance. Because it's like, this is just a game where it requires my practice, so... I should have a Halloween theme emote, or what kind of emote would you think would be good for that? What's a good Halloween emote that goes with my channel? It reminds you of Kung Fu Master. Each level is like another small Chinese village and you have to fight these enemies while gaining power. Ghastly. My Halloween lights will be up soon, Shishi. Thank you so much, Levate, for the bits. Thank you. Sir Arthur from Ghosts and Goblins? It's not a bad idea. Ah! 
Fuck! Fire! Oh yeah, this like doesn't... Shit! God. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> you will. So as you said, bap, bap, bap at the same exact time and completely in unison with the same sound of my game I'm playing while listening to your stream. I almost turned it off because it weirded me out. That's crazy. Um, Project Doom, it's good so far. I'm just trying to get better at it and see if I can make it further than I did last night. Sally from Nightmare for Christmas. The alien from the Spice Girls movie should be an emote. Oh my god. I would love to do that, Ryan. But I don't know if enough people would get the reference. Probably Jingle Bell Rainbow. Jingle Bell Rainbow says he can't wait for it. This is stressful. That should be, if I ever made a t-shirt, that's what it should say on it. Where did I end up stopping? I'm on the jungle level last night. I think it was level 5-3 or 5-2. Bald Britney for Halloween. I need Bald Britney all the time. <clears throat> There we go. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Smite, for the raid. Hey guys. How are you doing, Smite and Raiders? Look at that hair. She has good hair. <laughs> Welcome to Bulbing Nation. Well, just to catch up anyone who's just joining us, so I'm playing Project Doom, wait, Vice Project Doom, I almost said Vice Project Raid, and I'm new to this game, so I'm very sloppy at it. Um, this is called Aaron's Trying to Get Better at this game, <laughs> so thank you for joining me. What game did you guys just come from watching being streamed? Shit. This is where I start to get real sloppy. Ah! Shit, shit, shit. Okay, I need to switch to the gun. Wait, no, I just need Yeah. Probably. Ah! Yeah, 
Yes, thank God. See? Wall meet, even in Vice Project Doom. This game has everything. <laughs> oh god, so this is like the random rail shooter level, and I shouldn't be wasting my bullets. I'm really bad at aiming on this. and sloppy. Yay, wall meat. I guess it's not wall meat in Project Doom. What would you call it? See, I'm so used to my Castlevania terminology. In my heart, it's wall meat. Yay, we did it! Oh my goodness! Five more viewers, I'm number one in retro. Haha! -ha. Use my Fortnite skills! Ha! <laughs> what if, what if I started playing Fortnite? How fucked would that be? But what if I was, like, really good at it? I mean, that would never happen, but that'd be funny. Um, a few years ago, my friend tried to get, convince me to play Overwatch, and I was gonna do it, and then I forget why, I just never did. That'd be weird. Fortnite just makes me feel old. Fuck. Okay. I hate this guy! I wanna kill him! Maybe I should shoot him in the face. <laughs> Just kidding. I can't! with the logs. <sighs> Space Viking Papaya Boat says, watching Aaron plays while I lint roll my furniture. That's great. I'm glad I'm keeping you company while you lint roll your furniture. Hey, Super Jeff. So your weapons are two ice cream bars and a gun. Very important. You see, exactly. The, the bomb, which is on the far right, that looks like one of those, what are they called? Astro Pops, you know, that are like red, white, and blue. That's what that looks like. Then there's a gun. And then the first thing, see, I think it looks like a tuning fork, but it also could pass for like a popsicle. Maybe that's a fudge sickle. I should start calling it the fudge sickles. Oh my god, that's crazy, Saturn. Hey, tea drinker. Well, my name is Dave, says you'll never guess what my name is. If I was a betting person, I would say your name is Dave. But what if it's not? What if it's like David? Fudge sickles, ooh, fudge sickles. Oh, I hate, I just hate this. It's like, it's just tedious, you know? I just gotta be patient. I get jump happy. And then I don't make any progress. There we go. That wasn't so bad. That was okay. So this right here, this is the level that sucks. 
sucks really bad, but I'm gonna do it. Thank you so much, search man. Hopefully I can keep doing an okay job. See, sometimes I have off nights and sometimes I have on nights. Hopefully this is an on night, you know? It's not a water level, it can't be that bad. That's true. If there's a water level in this game, I'm gonna be very pissed. I just don't, I just don't wanna deal with that. Okay, I'm mentally preparing. <sighs> gonna take a sip of water. Do a power pad stream? That would be a nightmare to set up, but it would be really fun. Oh, my freaking ears! Alright, I'm ready. As ready as I'll ever be. <sighs> I need, like, I need a coach behind me rubbing my shoulders and giving me water. What happened to my pretty red cup? Well, I didn't feel like washing it, so this is my other cup. Hey, Cinemasker fan. Oh my god. Okay, so these projectiles, this is what was really fucking me up. Jumpy fuckers everywhere. Ah, ah, no! Uh -huh. Fucking birds. You got this guy. Like, what even is that? Jumping around like an asshole? What's his problem? See, I don't like those plants. Because... Um, they grow back way too fast. And there's one part coming up. Oh! There's one part coming up that I really hate where I have to keep slashing through the vines and I have to make it through before they grow back because they hurt you. Wow, that was not cool. Look at this shit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! Oh my god, I got it. See, it's like I, I know I gotta take my time more. But it's like, you also have to dodge things, so it's just, it's just, I don't know. I feel like you kind of just have to do a mixture of timing jumps and fuck, and running through it really fast. Fuck! Please don't come back! Oh, shit, shit, shit! Ooh! Oh, thank you. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, fuck you, bird. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> At least I'm trying to. <gasps> that was the best- that was the best I've done at that part. That was good. For me, that was- that was good so far. We're making progress. See? Practice is good. Stackfall says, Aaron, for the 5-2 boss fight, basically does the same thing over and over again. He fires three shots out of the cannon, then travels back and forth. Okay, the big, um, tank thing. When he travels back and forth, he'll fire some missiles, and that's when you want to get in one or two swipes of the sword. Not many more, because you'll want to be at a good spot for when he stops and you need to be ducking. Okay, thank you. We'll, we'll see how I do. Yeah, this is kind of like Shatterhand a little bit. I haven't played a ton of Shatterhand. That's been on my wanting to playlist for like three years. I think uh, Mike just played that recently. The Famicom ver cover is better. I believe it, Mad Stalker. I feel like usually the Famicom covers are better. I haven't seen it. I need to look that up. Thank you, MBD. This game is easier than Shadow of the Ninja. You know what? It actually kind of feels like it. If I can get to the end, I never beat Shadow of the Ninja, but I got to the final boss, and then I was just, like, so tired by that point, I just gave up. But, um, we'll see. Basically, just rinse and repeat that. Okay. Let's see. We got Jumpy McGee over here. Yeah, the bird. See, I wish you. Okay, I was. So this part sucks. Ugh. See, they put that guy in. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ugh. Ah, shit. Ugh. 
I'm trying to like, I don't know what to do here. Whatever. We're just running for it. Okay, so I gotta use good old tuning for it. Oh shit, it's three. I thought it was two. Damn, okay. We'll get it, we'll get it. I wish it would just start you at the boss, but nope, you gotta do this shit. You know what, I'm gonna switch to the gun for this part. Oh yeah, I can't, because I gotta go through the bushes. Fuck, I fucked myself by doing that. Damn it! Well, I won't do that again. Thank God. Okay, so we got wall meat. too slow. Get it. This is totally doable. It's gonna take me. God damn it! <laughs> that was bad. Yes, non stopulous. Oh, thank you, wooden socket. You got, uh, what was I reading? Uh, Mad Stagger says you got the Famicom version of Wizards and Warriors. It's called Elrond. It was developed by NMK. They changed a lot. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know it was different. <laughs> Thank you, search man. Yay, we get to do this part again. You know what, maybe it's good to have like a clean start. Fuck, fuck. Ah, you fucking bird. Ugh. Tuna, do you think those are Charlie tunas? Ah! Why does there, everyone thinks it looks like Mike? Let me see. I don't think it looks like Mike. But that's funny that you say that. <laughs> Lord. Wizards and Warriors 2 had Fabio on the cover. That is true. I wonder what it looks like for the Famicom version. Because it's probably not Fabio over there. <sighs> no, non stop <laughs> Wizards of the Warrior 3 is bad. See, I just want to play the first one because I haven't played any of them. And I don't know why I just want to play it. Fuck! Oh my god, I thought I fell in the water. But I did not. Ah! Sorry, I need to hook up a, um, what's the word? Oh my god, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think. I got a thing. I just need to hook it up. Um, compressor. because so I don't, you know, sometimes if Mike streams with me, it's like too loud and shit. Sometimes I'm too loud. 
when I'm playing things like this. Shit. Aaron needs some food. There is Mike and Tony Tuesdays on Cinemasker Plays. Wizards of Warriors 2 and 3 were not released in Japan? I didn't know that. That's interesting. Mike and Sharon Fridays. Yeah, it's it's tough. This this level's tough. At least I think it's kind of tough. Um, it's just a lot of crap coming at you, you know? And it's a lot of memorization. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. So it's like, okay, I remember those birds come there. Oh, see, I went right between it. Ah! Whoa! Fuck, fuck, oh. Oh! No! Thanks, Fraser. Ugh. Fuck! Okay, see, now I'm going too fast. That's the goal of this stream. I gotta beat that boss. We gotta make it farther than we did last night. That's my goal. See, I gotta set little goals or else I'll go crazy if I'm, like, expecting too much, you know? Three shots from the jumping fish are nasty. Yeah, especially when it's like, they're coming from two different angles. It's very hectic. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to take a very, very quick break. Sorry to break so early on the stream, but I just need to get more water. My throat's like really irritated. And then I will be right back. So give me like two minutes. Do -do.
Hey guys, so I went, I'm back, if you didn't know, you know, by me, like, being on camera now. Anyway, so I went to RetroCon today, which is, like, a toy fair, and I'm really proud of myself. I didn't buy a lot of things. I almost bought a Magnavox Odyssey. The Magnavox Odyssey 2 is, um, m more common, and I have that, but, um, I'm still in the process, you know, like, I'm getting my, uh, the voice module, those... Don't come up on eBay too often. That's I finally found one, and it's on its way. And I still want to do more stuff with that. So I didn't buy the first Magnavox Odyssey, but I was so close to getting it. But, <laughs> funny enough, this is what I did buy for $3. I saw her sitting there, and I was like, I can't leave her. She looks so lonely. I got Scary Spice, the action figure. <laughs> I didn't, I don't think I had any of the action figures. I might have had Baby Spice because she was my favorite. But this came out after Ginger Spice left. So there was never a Ginger Spice one of these, at least from what I believe. So I bought this for $3. And so, okay, if you're a chick trying to get like women's fitted game related shirts, it's like you can only find Zelda and Mario. It's like I ordered... I have a Castlevania shirt, but it's, like, it's not officially licensed. If they actually made a woman's fit Castlevania shirt, I'd be stoked. But anyway, I really like the Shy Guys. And I try not to get a lot of Mario shirts because it's, like, I don't know. I'm just tired of seeing Mario shirts. But I don't see Shy Guys shirts. And this is, like, a Shy Guys, um, <laughs> Fry Guys mashup. And I just thought that was cute. So I bought that. I think that's all I bought. Ooh, and then I bought one thing to put up for Halloween, but that's a surprise. But, yeah. So I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Mel B. No. I think that's tomorrow. James will be there tomorrow. We just went for, like, a day. That's awesome, Mad Stalker. Um, I actually got, if you're talking about the Castlevania shirt I have, I got that from, um, T-Fury, I think. Yeah, they put, they have, like, new shirts every day, and they have a lot of video game stuff, related stuff, so I got, like, a Dig Dug one from them, and I got the Castlevania one. Thank you so much, Retro Gaming Night, for subscribing for Twitch, with Twitch Prime for three months. Thank you. Someone asked me a question and I lost it. That is true, Shishi. Will I be attending TwitchCon? No, I don't think so. Do I have a Baby Spice action figure? I think I remember having one when I was a kid, but I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in my parents' house. I still have all the dolls and I have like the lunchbox and the... I have, a, I have so much Spice Girls merchandise. <laughs> Bulby Nation rises. Well, if you watch my video on the Spice Girls game on PS1, you'll know how awful it is and how disappointed I was as a kid getting that. Hey, Sky Coaster. Alright, so let's pick this back up. Ugh, we're doing better tonight. Tonight's going a lot better. Have you played this before, Super Jeff? <sighs> I get stiff when I'm doing the thing like over and over again. <sighs> Thank you, Wound Socket. Yeah, like, so the Lizzie McGuire games. I didn't buy them when the show was on the air, because I knew it would be awful. Um... Oh, fuck, fuck! Um... But I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to do a video on it, and then after they announced, like, that she's coming back to do Lizzie McGuire in her 30s, I was like, shit, I need to play these games. 
and they're they're bad but they're bad in a way where it's like you can talk about them because I think it's worse if a game is boring like the Bubsy games I've only played I haven't played Bubsy 3d but I played like you know I feel like people ironically like those and it's like they're so boring there's nothing to say but with the Lizzie games they're fucking garbage but there's plenty to say so I was like this is perfect. This is perfect material for an Aaron Plays video. The Oh my god, the Disney DDR video, yes. The mall one was, the mall stage was so generic though. I'm surprised you found much to say about that one. Me too. Um, it's just, I don't know. Different things trigger different, you know, thoughts for different people. I'm sure some people would play that and be like, wow, I have nothing to say about it. But for some reason, it was just so early 2000s, it gave me a lot to talk about. I do like crappy gaming accessories. I really do. Hey, Telly Monster, I'm good. How are you? But yeah, Disney DDR, I will do that at some point. There's just so much, and now it's like Halloween's coming up, so now I'm focused on Halloween stuff, and it's like, I get stressed out really easily thinking about shit. Because it's not just, fuck! Okay, I'm doing horrible now, I should have taken a break! The eye toy? I don't know what that is. Do you mean the, uh, R-Zone, or whatever? Is that the R-Zone? Oh, shit! Okay, okay, Aaron, get it together. Get it together. Mmm! We'll, we'll get this. Just hold on. Shit. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna- I'm just gonna kill myself. I'm gonna fall in this water, and then we're gonna start over clean. Oh, the i oh, it's called the i toy for PS2. I don't like using save states, so that's why I'm playing the real one. Um, because then you practice more and get better. But save states are sometimes good for practicing. I'm just. I'm one of those people that likes original hardware. But what am I looking up? iToy. And it's called the iToy? What the hell? What did it do? It uses iToy camera technology to project the player onto the television screen. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna look that up. Thank you for telling me about it. That's interesting. That, I don't know, that wasn't on my radar. But I mean, that was when I was playing mostly. I had a PS2, but I mean, I was playing a lot of like, you know, Wii and my handheld. I have an iToy 2 for PS3. Wow. Okay. Well, thanks, guys. I, I'll i look that up. That's interesting. And it's called the iToy. Like, that's so, like... Isn't... It just sounds like a very uncreative name. I mean... I guess it tells you what it is. But... Kind of. I don't know. <laughs> it's just interesting. See, that's why you guys are the best, because you give me good ideas sometimes, you know? It's like, I didn't know what the hell the eye toy was. That's why I love streaming. We can all just talk about, you know, whatever, random things. No! Mmm! Woohoohoo! <sighs> uh -huh. <laughs> I panicked! Ah! Ah! And I didn't even get the bomb thing. Help! 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 Fucker!
This weapon's very satisfying to use, though. I just wish you could hack the projectiles. That would make things so much easier. I was so in denial last night. I was like, I'm gonna try to hack them. You have to be able to hit them, but nope. Ah! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! There was- what? You guys are blowing my mind about this eye toy. Oh. I'm very jumpy right now. I feel like I'm too jumpy to play this. You know where I'm just like, ooh. It's because I had Red Bull before streaming because I have a lot of shit I need to do tonight. And it's like, I didn't sleep a lot. So I'm just like, ooh. I'm like too jumpy. Ah! Oh. It didn't hit me until right now, I'm like, oh my god, I'm very jumpy. I didn't even drink the whole thing. See, and now people are gonna be like, Aaron, you drink too many energy drinks. I really don't. It's just sometimes when, like, I have to be awake, I just, I gotta drink it. I don't have one every day. Fuck! Play a calming game? I don't know what I would play. I don't- I wanna play this! Fuck calming games. I'm playing Vice Project Doom. Ugh. Fucking parrot. What is that anyway? And like, what are these guys? The next one that comes on screen, I'm pausing it. So it's a dude in a mask. Or is it an alien? Like, is he an alien? What do you think this pink guy is? I don't drink enough Snapple. I mean, that's probably my problem because I would read you guys. It was part of my, um, it's part of my routine. You know, I'd stream a game, especially during Castlevania. I just stream my Castlevania games, take a break, read the Snapple fact, you know, maybe that's what's missing. <laughs> if the stream's lagging, try refreshing. I should drink Earl Grey hot. You like my power pad and harmful park video? Thank you. That power pad video, that was a lot of work to edit, but I really like that video. I'm proud of that video. I like that video. It kicked my ass doing those um those games are physical. It's like I need to I need to get a little more active cuz that really kicked my ass. My excuse is I have really bad asthma, so I'm going to stick with that excuse. <laughs> you know, and I'm probably out of shape. But what can you do? Fuck! You like the Intellivision video? I want to do more Intellivision games. That Microsurgeon video, I had a really good time. Um, I think I was telling New Wave Junkie about it the other day because he brought it up. Maybe it was someone else, but um, I just really enjoyed that game. I enjoyed playing it. I enjoyed editing it. Because sometimes it's like I'll enjoy recording the video and then editing it will make, drive me crazy or, you know, something like that. But that one was just like a really enjoyable <laughs> video making experience. So I'm glad you guys like it. Um, I, yeah, I've just been itching to do like some television or um, backtracks again. Backtracks is just so annoying to film, you know. <laughs> I could be a model. I don't know about that, Space Viking, but thank you. Hey, Hungry Gray, what's up? You love this game? Well, maybe you can give me some tips to not suck so bad at this level. My weekend's good. Just trying to master level 5-2 of Vice Project Doom, so that's what I got going on. aerobics in high school everyone was throwing up jeez what did they make you guys do that's intense for high school it's like if they're making you work out so hard you're puking what the fuck in middle school on rainy day schedule see i went to school in la i'm from la so like 
everything's mostly outdoors. So when it was raining, we'd have rainy day schedules. So everyone would do PE in the cafeteria. And they had Richard Simmons um, sweating it to the oldies. And we'd do that. And it was great. Because I remember, I realized, I didn't know, it's like, you know how you just, you grow up with something so you don't, like, you don't realize, oh, it's not like that everywhere. Like, I said ra rainy day schedule once to Mike, and he's like, what? <laughs> and it's like, oh yeah, because on the East Coast, you know, everything's enclosed, it's like, um, Southern California schools, it's like, at least public schools, you know, it's like most of it's outside. I mean, besides the classrooms, it's like you're walking outside and stuff. I do have the Famicom uh, trainer. The family trainer, whatever you want to call it, I do. I think I only used like one shot of that in my Power Pie video. I could be wrong. I think I put a shot of it in there. The duck hunt dog freaked you out as a kid? He's kind of an asshole. But to be fair, it's like... For a minute I was gonna say you're trying to shoot him, but it's like, no you're not. So yeah, he's just kind of an asshole. That's what you get though for trying to shoot poor defenseless ducks. I like the, um... The one where you're shooting the plates. That's what I like. That one's fun. I really like, um, Hogan's Alley. That's like a really fun, like, fun game. Oh yeah, and I did a video on that. It's crazy that I've done so many videos now, it's like I forget sometimes what I've done a video on. Fuck. I'm getting bad again! I was doing so well! And then it all went to shit after I took a break. There were 10 games released for the Family Trainer. I have five of those at the moment. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I have some that were for the Famicom uh, version. I think uh, I have the... No, I think I have the US version of Street Cop. I thought I... I don't remember. So I'm gonna wait for this guy. Okay. Okay, okay. No! Okay, dodge. Uh, fuck! Oh, oh, I was okay. Okay, okay, okay. Not okay! I panicked! I didn't know what to do. Thank you, Jason, for the bits. You say, what? what's one of your favorite games on the original Wii? This is going to be a very, very lame answer, but honestly, the first thing that came to mind was Wii Sports Resort. That was just a really fun game, you know? It was like it never really got old. Um, what else did I like? Why am I blinking on my Wii games? I liked uh, Geometry Wars. I know it's not great, but for some reason, I really like that game. Um, I'm looking at my Wii games. And I really, oh yeah, like New Super Mario Brothers. I thought that was really good. Probably that. Um, like, I played a good amount of Wii stuff, but for some reason, like, the Wii stuff didn't stick with me. Like, Kirby Epic Yarn, for example. I know I played it. I own it. I don't remember anything about it. It's like a blur. Same with, like, Epic Mickey, I vaguely remember, because I remember really not liking it, and I was really disappointed, because I remember I got it at midnight at GameStop, and I was all stoked. I don't know what I was thinking. I was expecting there to be stuff from the parks, like an idiot. I don't know. I think I heard a rumor. Like, oh my god, there's gonna be, like, you know, hints of Disneyland and Disney World in it, and it's like, there totally wasn't. At least, the, I mean, I didn't play a lot of it. I played less than half of it, and I was just like, eh. 
Uh, Mario Galaxy I liked, but it just- I didn't like the motion- like the- the fuck. I didn't like using the nunchucks and stuff, it just annoyed me. And it made me feel kind of weird if I played it too long. But, um, I think- yeah, I played the first two. But it's like, I don't really remember much. I remember more of the first Mario Galaxy than the second one. Aaron, at the part with the fish and the platforms, have you tried to just run and jump straight through and not attack? Almost jump and run underneath the fish? I'll try it. I'm just prejudiced against Kirby. I just, I don't know, it's mostly just Kirby on NES. I just, I don't like that game. <laughs> I'm so sorry everyone. I know people love that game. Kirby on NES is tough. See, that's interesting you say that, Hunger Gaia, because a lot of people go, oh, that's it, it's too easy. And it's like, I feel like, I, I know I was playing it wrong, like you're supposed to do different things and I was kind of just like walking through it and I was kind of like, am I missing something? Like, I just feel like I was, I don't know, just not doing something right or I was just kind of bored. There was something where we were the controls and you couldn't handle it well. I could see that, yeah. It's like... It's kind of weird, but you know what? I had Kirby Soup... Is it called Kirby Superstar? Yeah. Kirby Superstar as a kid. And I'd play that on Super Nintendo. And I liked it. Um, I liked it more than um, the one for NES. But I mean, I didn't play the one for NES until a few years ago. But I grew up with the Super Nintendo one. You beat it all in one night and it was a slog. Wow. But yeah, so Kirby's Dream Land 2, I think Dream Land 3 is the one. Is that the one where you can like ride the hamster and stuff? Because that one looks interesting to me. Like I kind of want to try that one. Yeah, so Kirby's Dream Land 3 I do want to try. Um, Kirby Pinball I liked. I remember having kind of a hard time with Kirby Pinball, and then I thought I was crazy, and then my friend, he was like, no, that game's hard, and I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> I'm not totally alone then. You know how sometimes it's like, you, you, you're you having a hard time with the game, and you're like, should I not? Is there something wrong with me? Like, what? You know? But it's like, it just, you know, just people, certain people are better at certain games, and vice versa, you know? It's like... When people ask, oh, is this easy? It's like, it depends. Like, I don't know, I always go back to this example, but it's like, I think Castlevania Bloodlines is the easiest one, and Mike thinks it's the hardest Castle Castlevania game, so it just depends on the person. God. Okay, you know what? Let's start over. I'm gonna kill myself there. It's always a relief when a friend says, oh no, that game is super hard. Isn't it a relief? It's like, oh, okay, I don't suck too bad. <laughs> Just a little bit. That's true, New Age. New Age Junkie likes to give me a hard time about not liking Kirby. I hate that video. It was a bitch to edit. It was a bitch to film. I fucked up a part. I left a part in it where I, like, paused it, and so I had to edit that out after uploading it. It was just... It was stupid, but whatever, you know, it's like, it's one of those things, it was early on and I'm just like, well, I spent so much time editing it, I just, I'm just going to put it out, <laughs> but you know, whatever, people, some people agreed with me, I'm kind of glad I put it out, people are like, yeah, I thought it was boring too, and I'm like, okay, I was like, I'm going to get eaten alive for saying Kirby's boring, but a few people agreed with me, so that's cool. I don't know. I would stream Kirby on NES because, um, I think that would be fun to stream. And then I could see, like, you know, if people tell me things like, oh, you should do this here or whatever, and then maybe I'll end up liking it better. 
So, I don't know, I'm kind of interested to do that. I should do that one day, because it's, it's like long, so I don't know if I would do it all in one stream. But, um, I don't know, I think that could possibly be fun. Fuck! Okay, wait, fuck, okay. Hold on, oh! Fuck! Okay. Oh man, I was trying to go under the fish. But see these birds, they're just too much stuff coming at you. Fuck. Fuck. Ugh. Okay. Wait. Ah. I need to take a break. I'm sucking really bad. Ugh. Not like a break, just like, I'll talk to you guys for a second, because I'm like... <laughs> I just look up and I see, um... Uh, I see McBrundlefly say four ninety nine salads at Wawa! <laughs> that made me laugh. I'll probably actually, I don't know, I'll probably be going there later, and maybe I'll get a four ninety nine salad. Thank you. How do I feel about Donkey Kong games? Um, growing up, I had Donkey Kong Country 2. Is it 2? I always get 2 and 3 confused. No, 2. I had Donkey Kong Country 2 on Super Nintendo, and I played that a lot. I like that game. Um, I didn't own the first one or the third one, but I think they're good. Street Cop is Manhattan Police on Famicom. Oh, that's right. What Lego sets do I have? I don't have a lot. I have a Little Mermaid one I was going to put together on stream, and I've yet to do that. That's the only one I have. Mike has more. He's more into the Legos. Wawa pretzels are so good. Massage stream in the future. <laughs> Mike has Duplo bo blocks. Some of the jumps are easier if you slash jump as you jump forward to take out the fish that'll be there. Can't do that for all of them though, so don't have a lot of advice on this part. That's okay. Little Mermaid versus Mike's Pirates. I should play Donkey Kong Country. That would be a fun stream. Um, see, with games like that, like, I know uh, James and Mike did a video on that, and neither of them, like, grew up with it, so they were kind of new to it, and people were just, like, leaving crazy comments. They were so mad, like, why didn't you do this, or you didn't do that? And it's like, that's why I'm kind of afraid to play, like, Symphony of the Night, because that's another one that people just love. And I'm like, okay, what if I don't love it? And I'm just worried people just be pissed the whole time, you know, that they're watching me play it. And I just don't, like, you know what I mean? It's like some of them, it's like, I just don't want to hear about it. It's like some people take it personal if you don't like a game. And it's just like, it's a, it's a game. Like, some people will like it, some people won't. But, you know what I mean? I would love to do a Wii Sports stream. See, she, she says, don't worry, Aaron. if you don't like Symphony of the Night, we'll just burn you at the stake. Exactly. <sighs> See, I probably feel the same way, MBD, but I, I will try it because I am curious about it. <laughs> Nemo Junkie mentions Little Nemo. See, I didn't totally fall in love with Little Nemo. And that one people love. People really like that game. I, w I would play Bubble Bobble on stream. That's a good idea. See, I'm afraid to play Metroid games. I didn't own Super Metroid growing up. I haven't really played any Metroid. 
And it's like, I know I would suck at it because I get lost easy. I don't like things that aren't linear. Maybe because I'm dumb. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't. I just know it would be bad. But you know what? Maybe not. I just have to try it. Iron Tank? I haven't played Iron Tank. Nightmare Land is the reason you never went back to Little Nemo. I think I got three levels into Little Nemo or two. That game's tough. And it's, it's weird. It's just a weird game. I understand why people like it, and a lot of people grew up with it. But, like, coming into it fresh, I'm just kind of like, what's going on? Snake rattle and roll. Oh. <laughs> I, I, haven't, I know what that is, but I don't think I've played that one. I haven't played Bubble Bobble 2. I've only played uh, Bubble Bobble 1. New Wave Junkie says, after watching you play Little Nemo, I've decided I don't need to play it ever. Favorite 90s cartoon? Um, that's a hard question. Um, Daria. I just really love Daria. I liked it a lot as a kid, and then it's like I appreciated it on a new level as an adult. I just I love that show. I think it's so good. I really liked Sailor Moon as a kid, and like Rugrats. Um, Rocco's Modern Life is up there. I really like Rocco. I still like Rocco. I haven't seen the movie yet, but... That was one I always really liked. Batman animated series. That was good. I watched that when I was in kindergarten. So it's like, I liked it. I was really young. Kindergarten, first grade. Haven't seen it though. I watched a, I watched some episodes not too long ago, actually. That was a good show. I tried to dodge things. Okay. <sighs> Fucking bird came back. See, the stuff respawns so crazy. Animaniacs. I was obsessed with those when I was really little. There's a picture of me I found recently where I'm like holding my Babs Bunny like plush and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot about that Babs Bunny plush. I think I still have her at my parents' house. And I really liked Animaniacs. I've told this story before, but I, I had pet frogs and I named them Wacko and Yakko. Funny enough, I never played the Animaniacs games. Um, I rented Rocco as a kid and I never figured out how to play it. And then someone told me recently on stream, like, oh, you do this or whatever. Oh my god. Wow. So I might try to play Animani uh, Rocco again, I mean. I would play Animaniacs too, I just, I don't really like it. I played a little bit of it and I was like, eh. But, um... Rocco, I kind of want to give another chance because I'm wondering if now that I understand what to do, I'm, I might enjoy it more, but probably not, but we'll see. Um, I also, I also want to try, shit, I also want to try Ah Real Monsters. I remember that was always um, rented out. I'd go to Blockbuster or at my grocery store, I'd rent games, and both places would always be out of Ah Real Monsters, but... We do like the original Batman series. I like that series a lot. I don't own the new Tool album. <laughs> oh, Tool. Everyone's talking about Tool. Any favorite Disney afternoon cartoons? Um, when I was little, I really liked... I. It's funny, I liked um, Rescue Rangers, and I liked um, the Little Mermaid and Aladdin cartoons. Those were my favorite when I was little. I like DuckTales and everything, but I was really excited about Rescue Rangers and Little Mermaid and Aladdin. That's what I was really into. Shit. 
shoot! Oh my god, no! Oh my god, I'm doing so bad now. Renting video games at the grocery store was amazing. See, it was cool because, like, you know, if your parents were there, it's like you could usually convince them to be like, oh, like, well, can I just rent something real quick? I rented Super Mario RPG there. And, um, I didn't like it then. I haven't played it since. Um, I know I say I don't really like RPGs, but I would try that one again. I'd give that a shot now that I'm older. I think I was too young for it. I was really young when I rented it, and I just, I don't know. I think I was expecting, like, a Mario World thing, because I was, like, in second grade, and I was just like, I don't know, second or third grade. Ah! I'm gonna try to do more jumping and slashing. No! Oh my god. No, I know. RPGs are fine. They're just not for me. I don't have a problem with RPGs. I just don't personally enjoy them. I like shit like this where I keep getting my ass kicked over and over again. Because I'm a weirdo. Oh my god, okay, 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 ooh. Oh my god, I'm like in shock. We finally did it. Isn't that stupid? That took me that many tries. And then like, the first time, when we first got here tonight, I was like, fine. That's really frustrating, because it's like, it, it makes you know you can do it. You're just like, why do I, why can't I do it anymore, you know? I hate this part too, it stresses me out. It's scary, what if this was real? And like, the plants were closing in on you? It's terrifying. Fucker. Ugh. Fuck. Oh god, I forgot about these assholes. There's too many people trying to kill us, you know? Thank god, wall meat. Here we go. try before getting a game over. <sighs> you should get the TurboGrafx Mini, Hungry Gorilla. What do you expect? You try to take a tank out with a sword? Well, that's what I have to use. One hit point Aaron, that's me. Um, yeah, there's totally some Sega Master System games I want to stream. I have a Sega Master System. I've been wanting to do Alex Kidd and Shinobi World um, for a very long time. It's just, so I always have set up, I have my Super Nintendo, my Genesis, and my NES. And then right now I also have a um, Turbo Duo set up. But it's like, I think it's like I don't think about it so often because I don't always have it set up. So I guess what I should do is always have it set up and then I'll play more Master System games. Because the Master System's cool. Um, so I would love to get more familiar with the Master System.
I just like how it looks. I, I don't like that the pause button is like on the system, but I mean that's like not a big deal. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, hold on. I need to switch to the gun. Okay, we have full health, Aaron. Don't fuck it up. See, I'm very sloppy at jumping. Ugh, fuck. I'm like, I'm sloppy at jumping and trying to hit this. Ah! And dodge those things. I went too crazy! I was too- uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry guys. Hi Aaron, Mike says you're so loud. Cause I'm pissed off! How does he like it? See, see, the tables have turned. Usually you guys uh, hear Mike, but now they're hearing me. Ha <laughs> ha! You can move while ducking? Okay, I'm an idiot. Thank you for telling me that. See, I was hitting, usually I would hit my thigh and it hurts really bad because I hit it with the controller, but now I hit my poor chair. <sighs> okay, thank you, MBD. Play Paper Mario on Wii. I never got too into the Paper Mario games, but I would try it again. They named my chair Todd. The timing on this is so weird. It has the missiles firing. Yeah, see, that's what fucks me up. The The projectiles coming from the top, that's what messes me up. It's like I focus too much on the ones coming from the bottom. And when they try to come from the top, I'm like... The Yoshi game is making me scream and it's your fault. Well, I'm sorry, person 624. What Yoshi game? Oh, I know they're not homing projectiles, but it's just like, let's say I'm underneath them, then I gotta like dodge it, you know? Oh, the Animaniacs is totally different on Genesis and Super Nintendo? Okay, I think I've only played the Genesis one, so that's interesting. Maybe I'll try the Super Nintendo one. Yoshi 2 on Super Nintendo. Do you mean uh, Yoshi's Island? Yeah, this was released in the States. I didn't know about this game until not that long ago, so I feel like this is one not a lot of people talk about, and it's pretty sweet. I really like the variety and stuff, but it's kicking my ass right now. But we're gonna do this. Why is it named Todd? I have no idea. That's what my chat named it. My chat does all kinds of things. that noise before. Oh, no, no, no! <sighs> I'm trying to focus. And it's all going to hell. I'm just gonna kill myself. I have one life left. I can't. Because, like, let's say I do make it to the checkpoint, I don't want to, like, only have one shot at the boss. Because it's gonna take me a minute. 
How long have I been doing this? Only an hour and 26 minutes? It feels longer. Probably because I've been doing this forever. <sighs> Sorry. I had an outburst. Whatever, whatever. It's fine. Oh god, oh god. This isn't fine. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Just go, go, fucking bird. Mm. No, 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 no. Oh my god, this is so stressful. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Faust Forward, for subscribing at Tier 1. Thank you so much. And it's September, so Tier 1 subs are half on. That was my attempt at plugging. But thank you very much, Fast Forward. This is so stressful, emote. I really need one. This was made by the same company that made Ninja Crusaders. Now, I haven't played Ninja Crusaders. Um, I played... You know, honestly, it's like I never really paid attention to the brand Sammy, but I was at an arcade not that long ago, and I was playing a shooter. I forget what it's called, but it was made by Sammy. And both Mike and I were like, Sammy, what the hell have they made? And now it's like, I feel like now that it's in my head, I'm like, oh, okay, now I'm see seeing more Sammy games. Are you saying it's made by Viewpoint? I'm probably not going to be streaming too much longer. I'm getting kind of burnt out. <laughs> this is your go-to NES game? That's awesome. Well, I'm having... Up until this level, I'm pretty, like, fine with it. But this level's kicking my ass. I'm trying to practice it. Get past it. Ah! Oh no, the wall meat fell! And for those of you who don't know, I do call it wall meat out of habit because of Castlevania. Fuck. It's okay. It's okay. Not okay! Alright, I think it's gonna be my last attempt. Or maybe not. I don't know. Fuck! Okay, I'm gonna give it one more because that didn't count. Oh, Sammy made a shoot 'em up called Viewpoint. I wanted to know if that was the game you played at the arcade. It might have been. I really don't remember what it was called. Oh no, he's gonna raid me, but I don't want to keep streaming. <laughs> you enjoy that I have that just one more time disease? I really do. Oh no, don't raid me, Mike. Don't raid me. <laughs> Flops. Floppy McGee over here. Oh god. Come over here. Oh, you fucker. Nero for subscribing for seven months. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Hello, Raiders. 
I'm currently getting my ass beat at um, the stage in Vice Project Doom. <sighs> so, you're coming into a mess, but thank you for being here. And thank you for the raid, Mike. So we've, we've gotten to the boss, just to be clear, for new people, but um, it's just, it's kicking my ass. Like, I need to get better at this part so I can do the boss again, because this takes me more than one tries to get used to the pattern of the boss, so it's like, getting there is a bitch. I'm explaining this horribly because my brain is fried at this point. Oh, thank god. Wall meat. Thank God. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay, so I have two more tries left. <sighs> you get three chances to hit him, then you have to duck. Is this NES hard? A little bit. Fucking hell! Fuck! Oh god, okay. No! Oh god, this is a mess now. That was bad and stressful, wasn't it? That was bad. Oh, I'm sloppy. Uh. I can walk and duck at the same time. I can't believe I didn't figure that out on my own, but thank you so much for telling me. We did. So thank you, MBD. Thank you. <sighs> Thanks, Start You Online. Okay. Whoa, this is Batman Central, isn't it? Oh, fuck. Okay, uh...
No! Mmm! Thank you, Mad Stalker. Not really, but I'm trying. Wait, where do I go? Hold on. Oh. Fuck you, man. Really? <sighs> Alright, guys. Ah, oh, fuck. But I just- But I just got to this stage! Alright, I'm gonna do it one more time, and then I'm probably gonna end the stream. But I gotta try it one more time. Cause now we're finally seeing new stuff! <sighs> I hate those red guys. This music's interesting. Fuck it. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, I thought that was something I could walk on. I'm dumb. Thank you, Nathan York. No! I get that. Oh, shoot! Thank you so much, Sh Shadowrun20XX, for subscribing. Thank you. Oh, you asshole. You ducked. You ducked. I didn't think you were gonna duck. Okay, um, well, shoot. Okay. Oh, ooh. No, 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 I was right by the ladder. Thank you, Shadowrun. I'm glad you liked that video. I had a lot of fun making that. <sighs> Can't stop the E train. <laughs> Lord. Oh my god. Okay, fuck it. Bomb. Ah! Going horrible. Horrible! Will I try the twin B games? Yes. Um. Play the one on- oh. Um, yeah, I will. I can't think right now, but yes. I. There's one that's a, um, platformer that- Mike and I recently discovered, and I would like to play that on stream for sure, or do a video. Yeah, fuck you. I shouldn't have done that because now I spawn these guys again. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Mm, there we go. Grenade. Oh, really? It doesn't shoot far enough? Oh, fuck, too far. Okay, gun. Damn! I hope that was a checkpoint. It probably wasn't. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, 
Damn, okay, this is messy. Go, go, go. Oh, fuck yeah, go, go. Oh my god, okay, where are we now? Oh god, okay. Okay, so, um... Is that... Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't know that smoke was hurting you, okay. Ooh, new guys. You asshole with the angled shot? Oh, really? Is that, is that what, is this what's happening? Try to get that. I guess I'll use grenade. Oh, really? There we go. Okay, now what? Now what? Oh, God. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? I'm gonna use grenades on this guy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Or not. Fuck! I didn't know what to do. I panicked, and I didn't know what to do. No! Game over! Oh shit! There was ladders! Okay. Stand underneath the middle ladder and stay ducking and just spam your sword like crazy. Shit. Alright, well let's try one more time. That's not- that doesn't sound bad. Okay. I didn't even, I wasn't even looking in the background, you know? So, good to know. Okay, um, so I'm gonna spam my sword, or is that not yet? Hold on. Okay, not yet. Okay. Oh, sure, wait, wait. What did you say? Okay, hold on. Oh my god, 200 viewers right now. Well, thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Ducked under the middle ladder and spam your sword under his direction. Okay. Ah, 
Tag. Fuck, fuck, fuck. My fingers are cramping up. Ow. Ugh. Ow. Ow. That sucked. Oh shit, it started me here? Hold on, I was not ready for that. Shit. Oh god, oh god. I don't know, I, did, I, I forgot where I was. I was like, it's not gonna start me here. I thought I had started from the beginning of the level for some reason. Damn, I wish there were saves in this game. Thank you so much for that tip. Damn. Oh. There's a stage select code you can use later. Thank God, because I'm like, my hands, like, I don't know what happened. All of a sudden in that level, they started cramping up. <sighs> what? What happened to you? I wonder if I can get a code for the following level. I'm going to see what it's like, though, but... Oh, nice person. Yoshi's Island is probably my favorite game of all time. You can do it. Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
it. Ah! This is really impressive for the NES. Yeah, this was a really late release NES title. I believe. I think I read that this came out after the Super Nintendo was out. It came out first in Japan, though. We just got it late. I'm gonna shoot everything! Birds in the face, everything. Ah! My fingers hurt. Fucker. Fuck! Ah! Right in the face. Want some too, Iago? Ugh. Fucker. Ah! Fuck! That was my fault. Oh, come on, really? What made me choose this game? Um, I was looking through, uh, I was looking through Nintendo Power and I saw this and I was like, ooh, I haven't heard of this. And then I looked into it and I'm like, oh, this looks like Batman mixed with Ninja Gaiden and stuff I like. So now I'm playing it. This looks very Batman. Very, very Batman. Look at these bouncy ass rats. What the? Boing, 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 boing. Okay, I guess I go up here. Does this hurt me? No. Oh god, the fish are back! Radioactive sewer fish! <sighs> yeah, Mike got here yesterday. Well, good for him! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Alright, so I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna try to find a code to get back here, because, like, my hand is just, like, it hurts. But thank you so much for hanging out. I'm really happy that we made this much progress. This was really fun. I do like this game. So I'm probably going to try it again. Oh my god. But yeah. I just, I need to stop. But anyway, this was really cool. This is a good game. I recommend it. It's fun. If you like Batman and stuff, you will like this. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.